well, we've got uh, three more bears just up here in the bushes. Uh, we're packing up camp and getting out of here as fast as possible. for food in between so we're not having to carry as much food as we did on the Dalton Highway by a long shot. Not really sure what we're in for as far as road conditions. There aren't many uh, highways in Alaska so we're gonna be on the road that all the cars use so hopefully uh, it's not too bad. I heard it's got a big shoulder at least. have made it to Denali National Park and we're gonna go in for a little three night backcountry trip going around the landslide and uh, checking out the park. Starting out day two here in Denali. Today we're gonna to do about 20 miles with 2,000 feet of climbing to get to the area with the landslide. Then we are gonna push five miles around the landslide and then we're gonna camp pretty soon after that. So, not a hard day of riding, but the pushing section is gonna probably be pretty strenuous. We've heard it takes three to four hours. So we'll see how long it takes us to make it through it. stopped to take some pictures and happened to look across the valley at this mountain and saw uh, a big ram pretty far away and we never would have seen it if we hadn't stopped here because it's you know pretty far and kind of blends in.
God. God. <laughs> There's crazy mountains in every direction. It's amazing. We've made it to the top of Sable Pass and uh, started our descent down to East Fork where we're gonna have to push the bikes around this little section right here. The road's closed up high up there and where the water is is pretty much where we're gonna have to push our bikes for five miles. Looking up at 20,000 feet from about 4,000. Pretty imposing mountain. Let the pushing commence. We uh, hauled the bikes down those very steep stairs and now we have to find our way through five miles of this kind of stuff. So far the pushing has been pretty easy but we haven't gone uh, all that far yet. Hopefully it stays this easy. Well, we have the road in sight again. Just gotta push up this drainage. It looks kind of like the worst terrain so far, but at least the goal is in sight. Made it back to the road, getting some rocks out of my shoes. And after all these creek crossings, my shoes will probably be wet until we do the whole thing again. <laughs> so, well, we finished the hard part. Now, on to the relatively easy part, which is pedaling slowly uphill. The pushing wasn't too bad overall, it took us about a little over three hours. We did go slightly uphill, so the way back should be maybe a little bit easier. I'm glad someone put down this warning. We probably would have just gone right over this big embankment. This is our second campsite in Denali. We've heard a lot about bears. Haven't seen any here yet. We saw some on the Dalton Highway, but uh, clearly they're around. We've seen tons of their scat and tracks. So it's probably just a matter of time until we see one. Hopefully it'll be a good encounter. Pushing our way back up to the road from our campsite. 
another spot where the road has gotten completely washed out in just the two years that it's been closed. It's really shocking how much maintenance this road must require to keep open. On the bridge? Oh, yeah. what the hell? He's like defending the bridge. He scared the crap out of me. Oh, thank you. We spotted a bear across the valley from us. Luckily, uh, very far away. You feel better or worse after having finally seen a bear? <laughs> um, well, I was glad it was really far away, but you know, it could always be closer and that's kind of scary. Always a little bit on edge, but they're very cool. It's very cool to see them out in the wild. It's the July 4th holiday weekend and so far we've seen just two other cyclists on the road. It's pretty amazing to get to have Denali National Park basically to ourselves. We're glad we got to take advantage of the push the bike around closure while it lasted. Today's July 3rd and it ends July 11th. From then on out, it's not gonna be possible to do this route the way we're doing it, unfortunately. It's just a temporary thing because of the landslide. just kind of the hint of a really big mountain underneath those clouds right now. Unfortunately, it's uh, cloudy over on the mountain, super sunny right here, but it's the way it seems to go. Well, we have another grizzly. We spotted it from pretty far out. It's close enough to the road that we don't want to ride by. So we're going to wait here and see what it does. It's pretty big, but uh, far away. I don't know if it sees us yet, but we're going to let it do its thing. Yeah, definitely don't want to get any closer to it. I'm as close as I want to be right now and we're really far away. <laughs>
cheddar and sour cream and some mashed potatoes. As usual, we're having pasta signs. It's definitely uh, a better view than usual though. Well, we've got uh, three more bears just up here in the bushes. Uh, we're packing up camp and getting out of here as fast as possible. We saw a bear just down the drainage last night not very far away from us uh three really big ones right now over here we're kind of uh we're kind of over it with the bear sightings they're kind of like all around us so we're uh we're just uh ready to get out of here <laughs> and get to an area with maybe less bears they saw us and they didn't seem like mad and they kind of went a little bit in the other direction but not like as fast or as as energized as we would have liked uh they kind of were ambling um yeah lots of bears <laughs> denali national park especially when the roads closed and uh no buses come through here to scare them off okay we're on the road day four in denali packed up fast nothing like bears heading towards your camp to get you on your feet and moving <laughs> Still, we're hanging around right when we left. One popped up. They have this amazing ability to just disappear into the foliage. We uh, saw them coming towards us, so we yelled to let them know we were there. And they all kind of looked at us and then just disappeared. D didn't run, they just popped in behind a bush or something. And then we don't know, like, are they sneaking up towards us closer or are they, uh, doing the right thing and hiding away from us. Oh, mosquito on the forehead. Denali has been incredible. I mean, the scenery is just unbelievable and I've never been anywhere else um, where you can see wildlife like this. I mean, seeing six grizzlies is, you know, a little bit unnerving and scary in the moment, but it's also pretty amazing that a place like this exists. Well, even more bears. There's a grizzly mom and two cubs just down the hill from us. Luckily, they really stand out from the terrain. It makes them pretty easy to spot. What, nine bears now? Too many bears. Oh, the little ones running around romping. Well, we're almost back to the landslide where we're gonna have to push around again. It's gonna be slightly downhill. So hopefully it'll be a little easier.
Almost. Gotta get up these stairs still. <laughs>